And so, to the topic of the day, drinking, mm. a bad habit or a pastime. A lot of people, how did I come up with this? I drive by every night and I see a group of young men sitting down in the middle of the street drinking. It breaks my heart, grieves my spirit, yeah, and really, really upsets me. Because they're sitting in the middle of the road. Even though it's a side road, it's the middle of the road. And you know, I ask the question, why is your bed not calling you? Why is staying with your family at this time of the night not calling you? People still drink till 10, 11 p.m. So, you see, I don't know about, I don't, I, we'll, we'll talk about the topic, but I want to ask our viewers a question. Let them tell us. Would you prefer to have a friend who says, let's go drink? Or you want to have a friend who says, let's go and eat. Which do you prefer? You can send your answers to 08093962299. The number again, 08093962299. Would you prefer to have a friend who says, let's go drink? Or the one who says, let's go eat? Because we never hear, let's go eat. We always hear, let's go drink. Okay. And it's unfortunate. Now, um, let me start by defining what alcohol is so that we un so everybody knows what alcohol is. But to be specific, an alcohol is a drink that contains ethanol. And you see, this type of ethanol is produced by the fermentation of grains, okay. fruits, and other source of sugar. Mm -hmm. When these things are fermented, you can now get your alcohol. Yes, some school of thought will tell you that alcohol is good for the heart, a little intake of alcohol is good for your system. Mm -hmm. But let me draw the line. Intensive intake of alcohol mm -hmm. can lead to grave damage yes. to, your, to your health. And I'm going to be stating some specific things it will do to you. But before we go there and go so deep, I need us to understand that alcohol is an influencer. And just like we, we, we talked about people influencing um, organizations and influencing persons, alcohol influences people. And when you get to a point where you become under the control of the bottle, you know there are those who drink with the bottle mm -hmm. and there are those who the bottle actually controls. They are in the bottle. Yeah. They are no more able to control the bottle. Mm -hmm. The bottle now controls them. Mm -hmm. It becomes a problem because you can hurt somebody or kill somebody and they say it's under the influence of alcohol. Yes. And ignorance is no excuse. You still pay the price. Mm -hmm. So it's important we, we, we control this thing and understand that you are creating harm for yourself. Now, um, alcoholic fatty liver disease is a reversible disease. That if you stop taking alcohol for two weeks, your liver will go back to normal. It shock you, right? Yeah. The best thing your body needs to function properly is water the mm. dangers of alcohol in your system is so bad now let me shock you if you take alcohol and, and think me. nobody knows do you know it can still be detected from your urine even in 48 hours mm. and as a matter of fact uh, you you're doing more harm to yourself when you're taking excessive alcohol and like i said the other time the relationship between alcohol and medicine you should at least have a six hour difference from the time you're taking a drug to the time you're taking an alcoholic drug. I mean, alcoholic drink. Because you can actually. But a lot of people cause, use alcohol to swallow their drugs. It's crazy. That's a chemical reaction in there. It's like you're taking a drug and putting it in the bottle. That's a, a serious chemical reaction taking place in your system, which can cause um, cancer in your system, which can cause ulcer. It can damage the stomach lining of your system. And at the end of the day, you start having all kinds of illnesses. I'm going to go to that. So the dangers of alcohol is more. There are some advantages. Some people will tell you some other things. They feel they're having fun. But I don't see anything intriguing, interesting, or delicious, or taste, tasteful about taking it and more or less taking it to an excessive point. It's so appalling that despite the fact that they don't have money, people put aside money for a bottle. Yeah, and, and you see, yes. It's more important to them to drink than even to eat. Than to eat. And do you know that 
alcohol deadens cells. Mm. Yes, it does. It deadens cells. And you see, you can't keep taking alcohol as a regular standard and not die young because it reduces your lifespan. And that's why if you check a man who goes out to drink every day, I'm telling you life expectancy is not more than 54. Google it. Mm. Life expectancy has dropped drastically because mm. of the drinking culture. And we must be careful because you see, apart from liver sclerosis, um, um, some other problems in the system, some blood clots, and some um, heart diseases that can come from taking alcohol. It's also important we understand that if you're a mother, uh, maybe you're pregnant, mm -hmm. and you're taking um, excessive alcohol, and you're drinking alcohol, you know you can drink damage. Alcohol when you're there are pregnant. women who are pregnant and they drink it just to get themselves back. You, do you know you're damaging the life of that child? Because when you give birth to that child, the child will start having hyperactivity. Some can even have Down syndrome. And at the end of the day, you don't understand. You are blaming God. God, why this child? You caused it. Because you have weakened some cells and chromosomes in that child. You have altered the formation of the child's cycle. While you were drinking. While you were drinking. During his pregnancy. And it's, it's... What about during, what about breastfeeding? That's another bad one. You're not supposed to drink when you're breastfeeding because it goes to the child. Are you kidding me? So... It's important we need to we need to control these things. We need mm. to control it. If um, um, uh, someone tells you, uh, let's go drink, and mm. you know that you're not healthy enough, or you know your system, mm. you understand your body. Mm. You know, do you know? Let me let me just drop this here. Do you know alcohol can cause infertility? Mm. It can lead to diabetes. It can also lead to erectile dysfunction. Yes, amongst men. Are you serious? I'm telling you. So why then do you find men keep it? Oh my. Let me tell you what it does. When you take alcohol, you see, it's an influencer, like I said at the beginning. Mm -hmm. So it gives you that energy. Mm -hmm. Some men, when they take some kind of alcohol, they mm -hmm. can go for several hours. But do you know that, yes, you can be very effective for the first two months. Yes. And then later on, you become useless. Are you serious? So Madame starts complaining because you have you have accumulated, you have gotten all the energy, put them together, you have done that thing you want to do. When you need that energy the most, the flesh will be weak, just, but the spirit will be willing. You mm -hmm. see that? So that's why we need to be careful. Our body. So there, there, there is a harm that alcohol and drinking does to the body. Yes. To the health. So your sexual health, yes. mental health, physical health. So why do people do it? It's unfortunate. And people that's why I'm asking the fun. question. Is it just a bad habit that you pick up along the way and you never are able to do away with? Or is it just a past time that oh, it will just pass, it's the time? Tommy see, looking at it medically, now mm -hmm. I've gone I've gone logical and spiritual and I've told you it's bad. Looking at it medically, they will tell you a moderate use of alcohol mm -hmm. can be good for your body, can be good for your heart. A moderate use, like so Paul red recommended wine. it in the in the Bible when mm -hmm. he talked about a little wine for your heart. You get, mm -hmm. but when it becomes in excess, it can weaken your heart muscles. So how do you then measure? Is there because when we take drugs, we have measures. Do we measure two cups, one cup? The, oh. you see let me tell you something if you know that something is dangerous abstinence is better than measurement oh if you know that something is harmful because you see you don't want to trade with cardiovascular illnesses you don't want to trade mm. with your heart you don't mm. want to trade with liver sclerosis the enlargement and the reduction of the heart from time mm. to time and you know every time you drink your liver starts getting into a state we call cocooling and if you're not careful if you, if you drink excessively, consistently for two weeks, I'm telling you, you will have liver fatty disease. But people drink every day. That means we have so many living or dead people. That's the truth. You know, when you get to, when you have a friend who, after drinking for a period of time, you now start seeing that from his breath, you can just... Perceive alcohol. Even when he has not drank. For days. For days. You can just perceive, like, 
there was a young man I attended to some time ago. He told me, he said, even when he's urinating, he can just perceive the alcohol. And he can stop. You see, it's an addiction. There's mm. a level you get to with it, it becomes an addiction. Some and people cannot eat without drinking, you know? They can't eat without drinking. And I must say, let's be specific, drink water. The, the only drink without side effect is water. Is water. Mm. You know, when you, when you stop taking alcohol, I need, I need someone to try this. When you stop taking alcohol for two weeks, mm. you'll discover you sleep better. Mm. You would get your, 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 you feel light in your system. And then another benefit is hydration. So that's why it's important you understand drinking could be harmful to you and reduce your lifespan. And we don't want to get to that point. I see a lot of people who drink as well shrink. Some will shrink. Yes. Others, they would feel bloated up. Stroke can come, liver sclerosis, heart diseases. A whole lot can happen from drinking. A whole lot. It can even lead to diabetes because that drink is, some of them is, is largely sugar. Unfortunately, um, is there a better drink? Let's say beer versus gin. Uh, no, no. I don't want to use beer versus gin. I want to use beer versus wine. So a little bit of wine can be can have a medical effect okay on your health a little bit yeah, so if you say beer versus gin uh, you, you're just you're just talking which of the lesser evil because those two you're just okay the beer can even cause the protruding of your tummy mm -hmm. gin is very very strong that's why in countries where genes are produced they produce a cup for it very tiny. Very tiny cup. So they tell you one our, shot. Unfortunately, when our boys go out, they have a big they, jar. They buy, they, buy a bug, they buy a big bottle and then they drink it in jars. It's, it's so unfortunate. It's so unfortunate. Do you know that oral cancer, breast cancer can be as a result of intake of alcohol? There are some genes now. I'm, I'm on genes. There are some genes that are very harsh. When you drink them, you feel the heart burn. Hmm. If you're not careful, you think you're having fun, but you're actually hurting yourself. And the adverse effect is more. See, somebody would say, um, Doc, we, in, in those days, our parents used to drink, and some of them are still alive. What they were exposed to is quite different from what we are exposed to. You see an average man right in this present age, he drinks. He doesn't only smoke cigarettes. He also smoke from the exhaust, carbon monoxide. Mm. It's not the same with somebody who lives in the village and just drinks and eats fresh food all the time. Lots mm. of carbonated food in the city. Mm. The atmosphere is polluted. Mm. Take a clue from the company we talked about that bonds battery in Lagos. Mm. Now, do you want to compare the life expectancy? And you can just check on Google. Life expectancy in, in Lagos, in Lagos the source to that in, in the village. Okija. For example, even though there's a shrine there, so live our shrine. Ah, when did you start practicing that? Live our shrine, it's our traditional shrine. Leave it, but you so, see, take so precious, yeah. you know. Yes, we call it hard conversations for a reason, but do you think there is the possibility that people can stop drinking? Well, what does it take? You know, to me, see, when people kept smoking. Mm -hmm. And then the government got in, mm -hmm. and then they started saying, Remember, smokers are liable to die young. Mm -hmm. We thought people would stop smoking, and the tobacco company would go back to wherever they came from. Mm -hmm. But what happened? People kept smoking the more, and even metamorphosed into more dangerous Shisha. smokes. Now, a wise man said, If I tell you, don't think about monkey mm -hmm. for the next 20 seconds. I can tell you are thinking about monkeys. You're already thinking of how monkeys clap. No, the moment you tell people not to do something, the natural they um, want desire to do, to do it comes. So, it's a, uh, I, we should change the narrative. Okay. I'm not going to tell you not to do this, but I'm going to tell you what you will suffer. If you do or it. what you will acquire. You know, that's what we call acquire. Oh, uh, what acquired, you will acquire. Acquire the as sicknesses result, and diseases yes, as a result of bad, result bad of choices. The, so, too much alcohol drinking can lead to tiny blood vessels it reduces your blood Decide. vessel oh and as a matter of fact this can lead to various kinds of illness it, oh it makes my. your body it makes you porous 
to sickness and diseases. And you won't want that. And do you know people who drink actually are susceptible to every time they say they're treating malaria? And, and it beats my imagination. Very true. And then, Tommy, there's another aspect I really want us to touch on. Excessive intake of alcohol leads to short-term memory. So you can actually suffer from memory loss. Oh, so amnesia comes to... Yes, you can oh, get to a point where um, your brain cells start mm -hmm. getting affected as a result of that intake of, of alcohol. alcohol. So that's why we need to really be careful. Another thing is your fat tissues can be penetrated by excessive intake of alcohol. And when the fat tissues are penetrated, it just leaves your body porous. Wow. So, on the long run, the, the, the dangers... They are... I'm not even talking about getting intoxicated, which can no, lead no, you to no, no, accident, no. which is physical. I'm talking internal right now. The things that you can see, the, the, the damage that you can see that happens to you just because you're ingesting alcohol. Yeah. So, at the end of the day, um, it's doing more harm than good. Yes, that's been it on Hard Conversations for this morning. Hmm doing more harm than good we'll talk about taking too much sugar on this program again because drinking in fact beer is sugar for most people but yes. most people do not know beer is sugar so when you take a lot of sugar or you say oh i don't drink coke pardon me i don't drink any of the carbonated drinks i only take beer you are harming yourself they are one and the same one is sugar and the other is sugar it's just that the de degree of sugar you take you know actually differs one from another but both are harmful to you dr precious how do you close i close by saying alcohol is an influencer mm. and if you don't want to be influenced influenced by an outer body then you need to gain control over your system drink water all right for me it's simply stay safe feed yourself both mentally, physically, and everything you take into your system with the right materials, the right food, the right thoughts, and then the right kind of drink. Make sure water becomes your best friend this year. If you've done nothing for yourself, drink water. Have a beautiful day, beautiful weekend. We'll see you again.